The one meal a day diet, also known as OMAD, successfully kept me in a calorie deficit for eight months and allowed me to make this transformation. Thanks to OMAD, I was able to hit over 100 pounds down on my weight loss journey and I made it to Wonderland. I hit major milestones thanks to the OMAD diet, helping me stay in a calorie deficit. But now there comes a time in life where you're gonna have to depart, where you're gonna have to love from afar. And loving from afar means connecting with your diet, but on a different level. So today we're gonna talk about how to transition from one meal a day to multiple meal a days. We're talking about going from weight loss to maintenance or to losing weight with multiple meals a day because you can't. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Daniela Joy and I've lost over 100 pounds on my weight loss journey, 113 pounds to be exact. This is my transformation and I made this transformation through hell on earth. I am a mangled mess recovering from all of the accidents and all of the injuries. So if I'm able to make this transformation through the hell I'm going through, you can do it as well. I'm here to share a bunch of tips, drop tips on how I've lost weight because my weight loss journey has been a four year long weight loss journey. And I know there's many people out there who've been trying to lose weight for years and my journey can help other people out. So to get my video out to more people, make sure you hit that thumbs up button guys because it helps me out a lot. It helps get my video out to more people who may be on the similar boat as me and to hit that subscribe button if you have not subscribed already as I'm documenting my journey to becoming shredded AF. Yes, I am currently on a weight loss journey, but I know how to maintain weight. Like I'm the queen of maintenance. I seriously am. Anyway, let's jump into today's topic. So this video was inspired by this comment. Sham Cookie 3604 says, when you say once you reach your goal, you have to open it up a bit. Can you give an example of what you mean? I've counted calories for a whole year and lost the weight, but I don't want to eat 350 to 450 calorie OMAD daily for the rest of my life. How have you expanded from your desired protocol? Thanks in advance. All right, thank you so much for the comment and I'm here to help you guys out. So first and foremost, this comment was from this live stream and I talked about how I opened up my eating window from a 30 minute eating window to a four hour eating window to a six hour eating window by opening up my meals, by chopping my one big OMAD meal, which is around 1200 to 400 calories into smaller snack size meals. So just to address a few things, this person lost the weight eating 350 to 450 calorie OMADs daily. Now, when it comes to OMAD, it is basically eating one meal a day. It stands for one meal a day, and that could literally mean one meal a day, or it could mean consuming all of your calories within a half an hour eating window. So the point of OMAD is that it shrinks your eating window so it can put you in a calorie deficit. Because at the end of the day, in order to lose weight, you gotta lose weight in a calorie deficit. It's the only way to do so. Now, there are multiple ways you can go into a calorie deficit. You can do it the traditional way with just simply counting your calories and eating three meals a day. You can do it through keto OMAD where you count your calories and you keep your carbs under 20 grams and you keep your protein sparing and you keep your fat high. You can do it through a vegan diet if you like, which I don't recommend because meat is important. You can do it through a vegetarian diet, which I do recommend because you can have animal based products on a vegetarian diet. You can do it on a Presbyterian diet. It doesn't matter how you do it. What matters is that you restrict your calories. Now this person ate pretty low. I would not recommend eating 350 to 450 calorie meals daily, depending on your weight size. If you're morbidly obese, you can get away with that. But I highly recommend consuming between for women, 1,200 calories, 1,000 to 1,200 calories, and for men, about 1,600 to 1,800 calories, 
and going further on the calorie note there will be some days where you have literally one meal and that one meal could look like a 500 calorie to 600 calorie meal and yes it might look like a 400 calorie meal I've actually had 400 calorie meal days I totally forgot I did told her I didn't but I remember having a 400 to a 500 calorie meal day that's called a down day in the intermittent fasting world um, what other people call it but I digress let's go back how do we open up our eating window so the way we are going to do this the problem with OMAD is it works effectively but when you reach your goal weight or you have lost all the weight that OMAD's going to give you when you get to your ideal weight it's really important that you learn how to eat light because OMAD gets you chasing that big meal where you're feeling nice and full so when you transition off of OMAD, what happens is you end up might having like three OMADs in a day. And what do I mean by that? You're eating until satiation three times a day. That's not OMAD. And that's how people binge after OMAD. And that's where people mess up post OMAD. I was guilty of that. Speaking about binging and OMAD, I started the OMAD diet to actually restrict my binge eating disorder. Yes, I do have an ED, disordered eating. I struggle with that and OMAD has been a tool in helping me control my emotional eating and binge eating disorder because I was not eating all day. I was eating in a, you know, 30 minute to four hour eating window, mainly a four hour eating window. So for those of you who were doing the 23 intermittent fasting method, the real OMAD, so eating within a half an hour to an hour eating window, what you want to do is that you want to start with the 24 or more method. You want to start opening up your eating window. And when you break your fast at 20 hours, you want to have a 200 to 300 calorie meal. For example, let's say you are consuming, this is going to be a weight loss calorie count. So just I'm just throwing that out there. It's not a maintenance, but I'll get to a maintenance one in a second. But for me, this is what I'm doing right now. Um, today I'll be eating 1,200 calories, so I'm going to aim to have two to 300 calorie meals, and I'm going to aim to have about six to four meals within a four hour eating window. Hopefully I did the math right. Yes, I did the math right, because four times three is 12, that's three 300 calorie meals, or if I do 200 calorie meals, that is six meals in a four hour eating window. So that's what you want to do. You want to break apart your meal to a smaller amount. So today when I break my fast, I'm going to break my fast with probably a two to 300 calorie meal that is high in fat and high in protein. Well, today I'm doing keto OMAD, so I'm a bit thrown off, but normally on a day that I don't do keto OMAD, I aim for a high protein meal. Why? Because protein per one gram of protein, there are four calories and protein is a very good satiating macro. Now if you're doing keto OMAD, again you want to use the fats, but that's where I got thrown off. So you want to have like a high protein meal and a meal that's lower in fat because fat has more calories and then you want to have um, some carbs if you're eating carbs. So you do it that way. Have your first meal and then you're going to wait about half an hour to an hour and then have your next two to 300 calorie meal. And you're gonna make sure that you are tracking your calories along the way. And a key tip to help avoid you from overeating is that you wanna make sure you have these meals already planned out far in advance. If you fail to plan, you plan to fail. It's very good to have that ready for you. And I highly suggest you having your meals on the plate before you start eating. It's just a form of discipline and it helps refrain you from binge eating because I know when I'm hungry and I just start eating you just start eating and you lose track so you want to open up break down your meals that way and open up your eating window now the first day that you do this you may find that four hours is not enough because when you eat small sized meals you kind of get full you realize that and you may not even get in all of those 1200 calories or 1800 calories if you're a man within that eating window so then you'll realize huh I'm full and I had a thousand calories so maybe I need to just open up my eating window more and it will happen naturally so instead of fasting for 20 hours maybe you fast for 19 18 hours and then again you have those small snacks 
throughout the day. You have a small snack every, I would say, one to two hours, half an hour if you're really hungry, and break it apart by that. That's what I mean by slowly opening up your eating window. That's how you transition off of OMAD. You want to open up your eating window with small size snacks because at the end of the day the person that's able to eat the lightest on the day is a person that is going to be able to maintain their weight loss and keep it off and doing it on a consistent basis. So when you do this method you can obviously have all the goodies when the time is due but you want to be doing this method consistently. Maintaining weight Loss is simple in that it's not going to be as hard as losing weight, meaning that you can enjoy yourself a little more. So let's say this is a maintenance calorie day. So my maintenance calorie day, let's just throw out a number, is like 2,000. So on a 2,000 calorie day, I will do the same thing. I will still fast because I like fasting. I like fasting as a tool, maybe minimum for 18 hours. So I may be having my first meal at noon or 1 o'clock. And that meal will be three to four hundred calorie in size and then I will do that until I get to 2,000 calories and there you have it so I love this method this method is called the snack stacking method and it's basically you you having small snacks throughout the day small meals throughout the day and when you do that you're greater in control of the amount of calories you have throughout the day now this is a slow incremental process so give it time I, like I said in the beginning of the video, start off with the 24 or more method. You can even go to 19 hours and try these small meals. Now you want these meals to be high in protein. High protein meals are going to help keep you satiated and keep the calories down. High fat meals, it's going to be a little harder to do so. And you just chip away at it and then it becomes a breeze. Anyway, I hope you guys learned something from this video. If you have any more questions about this and if I did not explain anything and you're misunderstanding something I explained or you have more questions, drop them in the comments below. And if you made it this far into the video, just drop in a bunch of food emojis because I'm hungry and thirsty and I want to eat. And I'm sending you guys mad love. Take care. Bye.